Hey guys. Hi, P. Hey, PB. their breakfast ready. BB gets two and a half pounds of grain for breakfast every day. And Fiona gets about 0.8 pounds of grain for breakfast every day. You don't want your hay. You don't want your hay. Fiona will eat your hay. She's notorious for leaving her stall and going and trying to take Bibi's food. Well, Fiona's got a little space that she can get to that Bibi can't, so Bibi can't steal Fiona's food, and Fiona figured out that she can come back to hers later after Bibi's is all gone. Wimpy, can you not get past your mom? Come on, Fiona. Good girl. We have started a training plan to have it a trained behavior that Fiona and BB take gel capsules. So right now they're getting probiotics in them with some honey and water. Can you swallow this? Um, to swallow this behavior, so we'll ask them to open their mouth and swallow this. And then if they do, they get a little chunk of melon. And then once the melon's gone, we'll ask for an empty mouth. And if they've um, consumed everything, then they get a full amount of their grain as a reward. Back up. Good girl. And that's really important in case one of them were to get sick or at some point in their life need pain medication. Can you swallow this? Good job. We won't have to trick them and try and hide it into something like a melon or something that they really like. Instead, they'll just take it because it's behavior that they know means they get a reward, it's not negative, and um, as long as they swallow it, they'll get a, a big reward with their grain and melon and it'll make their lives better and, and healthier and easier in the future. But hopefully we don't ever have to give them any sort of medication. You wanna come on the scale? Okay, 8.84. That's a big girl. Good job. Hey, B, do you want to train? Hi. Can you open? Good. Good girl. B, can you back up? So we started training with B, B to back up because you can see she wants to get really close. Um, so usually she seems to get it back. Oh yeah, good girl. But that way when she is coming up really close to us. We can give her a behavior to do rather than coming right up in our faces. And then we can give her food in front of her rather than having to move to the side or somewhere safe. You back? You open? So we're working on filing these tusks for five seconds at a time. And if she lets us do that, then uh, she gets a reward. And that way we can keep feeling a little bit safer from getting any um, you know, deep cuts or anything that might be bigger than just a little scrape because her and BB play fight and they, um, BB also disciplines Fiona if she's acting up or being a little bit too rambunctious. Hey, can you open? Good job. It's, you know, two or three times a week, just kind of mental stimulation, get her used to it, um, getting better at it all, of course. You know, back? Great job. Woohoo! Blood drop. So 
they have to draw blood from the bottoms of their tails because their skin is so thick everywhere else. Good job, BB. Good job. She um, was not a huge fan of it. She definitely reacted, but we'll have to just reinforce the times where she doesn't react and keep it nice and positive for her. So we follow a, a pretty strict diet. Um, so BB gets a pound of beet pulp, which is what's in here. We've talked about quite often. And um, Fiona gets 154 grams in the morning. Between Fiona's two feeds, she gets 2.4 pounds, which is about half of what um, BB's getting. So overall, she's on about half of a adult hippo diet right now. And that's to help her grow and make sure she's got enough calories to get big and strong. So we're gonna go out and get the yard ready. Um, first thing we do is make sure we see two hippos inside the building. Hi. Hi. Um, make sure the doors are shut, the hippos are inside so that our aquatics team can get out in the yard when they need to, to test the water. We actually are testing the pH. We uh, take a temperature reading and this just lets us know that all the levels are where they need to be. We take a reading every morning before the hippos are released. So we feed them on this cement pad in the mornings, but they do a pretty good job of cleaning it up for us. Today is Wednesday, so I'll feed the fish. So they get trout chow and aquatic herbivore blend on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And the little ones tend to hang out right here. <laughs> so the tilapia also eat the hippo dung and the algae that grows on the rockwork and the walls and the windows and um, the dead skin cells off of the hippos. So they have a symbiotic relationship. The fish get fed and the hippos have a clean area and clean skin. So this looks like honeysuckle and grapevine. Give the hippos for some brows today. They don't get um, brows every day, but uh, we get it about twice a week and they seem to really enjoy it. So just making sure no one popped out here while I was inside, double checking that I didn't leave a rake or a shovel or anything out here that they could get into. Doing a double check of the pool. Everything looks good to go. Sorry about me.